The R6's autofocus system tenaciously tracks faces, colors, shapes, and blocks of activity. It iterates quick enough to follow just about anything, locking onto static and moving objects with ease. That is, as long as the lights are bright. In bad light, it lags behind the 5D4 and even the older 5DSR. This despite assurances from Canon and your favorite YouTuber that it focuses in EVF values the 5D4 cannot even dream of. Even with its mirror up and in low light, the now ancient 5D2 updates the feed from its LCD faster than the R6 and any mirrorless camera I've used. This makes panning smoother when the lights go down. Of course, the 5D2 can now autofocus in live view. The 5D4, however, can. And frankly, its smooth updating LCD blasts past the R6, X-T3, X-T4, SL and SL2, and every other mirrorless camera I've used. It also focuses faster in low, indirect light. Seeing as its mirror up performance is an add-on, I expected the R6 to blow past it. In 2013 or 2014, I suggested that it would take mirrorless cameras another 10 years to catch up to the DSLR of the day. As regards good light autofocus, mirrorless is now ahead. But when those lights go down, my prophecy looks good for at least another half decade. In this short video, the 5D4 and R6 squint into my studio, focusing by the indirect light of a hallway behind me. Yes, I filmed the scene with an iPhone, but as I lack a better way to describe what I see, your gracious latitude is most appreciated. As far as I'm concerned, this is a total coup for the 5D4, which is four years older than the R6. Smooth, natural viewing is one of the last arenas even the best mirrorless cameras fail against DSLR and rangefinder counterparts. Of course, perfectly smooth, perfectly natural TTL viewing won't be possible through an EVF, ever. But future EVF feeds will be smoother, and I hope will become virtually lag-free, even under low, indirect light. Until then, mirrorless autofocus will go sluggish when the lights go down, and their visual feeds will chop, reminding you that what you're looking through isn't just TTL, it's TT sensor, TT processor, and TT sensitivity, on top of all of that. Cheers.